going to do a song, uh, another another new song uh, from the new record. This is a song I, I finally got around to writing a song uh, for my dad on on the new CD. And and my dad's kind of a, a funny guy. He uh, he's one of those crusty old New Englanders that he that you recognize if you go into the Home Depot up there in New England somewhere. There's some old guy with a hunting cap on, staring at the two by fours, going, God damn it, ain't a damn one of these things straight. <laughs> he, uh, he grew up on the porch of his house when he was uh, 12 years old, some uncles moved in, and so they moved him out onto the screened-in porch, and that's, that's, where, he, uh, that's where he lived uh, until he was uh, 16, and uh, joined the Marines. And uh, uh, he had to get a note from his mom, but they, they let him join at 16 years old. And, uh, He's a funny guy, just one of those real uh, kind of hard-working, you know, tough, crusty New Englanders, real quiet, doesn't have a lot to say. In fact, uh, uh, one of my favorite stories about my dad, I, was, I think I was 22 years old, and I called him up and I was getting divorced for the first time. And, uh, I, <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, I said, hey, it's not working out, you know, we're just, we're going to part ways, we're getting a divorce, and nobody's mad or anything, but it's just not working out. There was a big silence on the phone after a minute or so. All he said was, Well, Rod, I guess there's more teams in the dump. <laughs> <laughs> Which I found very charming. <laughs> and uh, so uh, <laughs> my favorite story about my dad is uh, a few years ago, we started feeding the chickadees. You know, they they, uh, they they stay all winter in Maine. He lives way up in the middle of the state of Maine now. And uh, my mother called me up and she told me this amazing story about how my father had trained the chickadees to uh, feed out of his hand. But um, she had just started a, a brand new hobby, and, and her new hobby at the time was was uh, raspberry crystal light and gin. And so I wasn't sure. <laughs> If it was something that she had seen on, on TV or something, you know? It was an amazing story. And uh, so a couple months later, I, I went up to see him, and I got up one morning, and sure enough, there he was. He, was, he, he lives in this old farmhouse, and he's got this great big field, and he was just walking in circles in the field, and he was feeding the chickadees. And uh, you know, he had the seed in his hand, and they were following him, there were about 15 or 20 of them following him from uh, tree to tree. And the birds would come down one, one at a time and just like land on his finger and take a piece of seed, fly back up in the tree, eat it, and come back down, get another piece of seed. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. And I, I, was, I was so moved because I remember thinking, uh, you know, this is a very different guy than the guy that I grew up with who would shoot stuff from inside the house. <laughs> So I was moved, and I thought it was really beautiful. And I thought, wow, you know, he's, this is a, he's changed. He's a diff so different sort of guy at this point in his life. He's 74 years old. This is beautiful. He kind of ruined my moment a little bit because I went out to watch him. You know, I went out to, I sort of snuck up behind him to watch him do it. And as he's feeding the birds, he's sort of talking to him, and he's sort of saying stuff like, "Come on, you stupid son of a bitch, get it!" <laughs> Dumbass, there you go. <laughs> so I wrote this for him. We're going to do a show at Slate Night. I'm opening a show for Slate up in uh, up in Bristol, Maine. And I haven't told my folks because you can't, he's not somebody that you can have at a show because he doesn't sort of, <laughs> he doesn't really understand that, you know, like he, it, there's, you know, like you're on stage and it's a performance. <laughs> so he'll sort of talk to me like, while I'm trying to, I'll be like, Introducing a song, he'll be, Hey, Rod, you get your snow tires on? <laughs> Grace, it's November, you better hurry up. So this I wrote for him. It's called Your Father's Tattoo. Dresser drawer and a box of coins Jackknife and a bigger one. It's called a K bar. Real good knife. He took it with him back when he got out. When it's fading now, when it's hard to read, when you were a kid, it was 
the best thing you'd ever seen, but it ain't got nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. That's your father's tattoo. It was a time he was hard and young and he stood up straight in front of the Back when he was sure of every little thing he knew Back before your brother and you Well, it's not as bright as it used to be There's an eagle flying in a flag that says Marines But it ain't got nothing to do with you Might have broke your mother's heart once in a while And you want to know And you kind of don't Something about the hugs, some advice that sounded more like lucky. Told you things that he don't remember. Some things you knew about, some things you never will. Something about a high school girl, some lies mixed with you. A car crash and a tear or two, but it ain't got nothing to do with you. Thank you so much.